one of two grandchildren that um, were cursed by the grandmother. This is his sister. She just got delivered a few minutes ago from the curse. By the way, Nadia, the grandmother's dead. But she left behind a soul part, a soul identity, a, like a piece of the soul, like a personality alter and multiple personalities is the way it works. Left it behind inside his mind to keep trying to control him and destroy him. So I had the grandmother, Nadia, that part of his soul, his mind, ask forgiveness from the daughter-in-law, and she extended that forgiveness. So now I'm at the point where I'm going to deal with this soul part, Nadia, and send Nadia away to the judgment and peace and mercy of God, and then deal with the demon left behind. I already packed away my Bible, so this looks like a good one. Oh, this is really good. It's Russian. <laughs> this is the real word of God. It's Russian. <laughs> da. Da. The demons are attached to the soul part of the grandmother. So by soul and spirit, I divide Dennis from Nadia. And I divide Nadia from death. Death, you stay down until your hour. Stay down, death. I'm talking to just Nadia. Nadia, you apologized to your daughter-in-law. She forgave. You did great evil, Nadia. You've got great suffering on this family, but God will forgive you. You're filled with a lot of anger and hate. So by the sword of the Spirit and a good Russian Bible, I divide Nadia not just from death, but from hate and anger and murder. Because the granddaughter had just the sole part of Nadia and death. Murder. How many generations? Murder. How many? How many generations? What happened ten generations ago? What? What? Smite! What happened ten generations ago? What happened? Murder. 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 Ah. Did I? Yeah. I introduce you to Mammon. <laughs> Usually you let Jezebel speak for you. <laughs> this time, Mammon, you're going to speak for yourself. <laughs> now go down. I want Nadia. Go down! I want Nadia. Nadia! Boom! Nadia! I want you to say, Dear God. Dear God. Bring me to your peace. Bring me to your peace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For what I did to this family. For what I did to this family. I didn't know. I didn't know! There was a curse of murder. There was a curse of murder. And mammon. And mammon. I nod you. I nod you. Remove myself. Remove myself. From that curse. From that curse. Take me, God. Take me, God. To be with you. To be with you. A mammon and death, you stay out of it. Nadia, look at me. Go to be with Christ. Close your eyes and go to be with him. Go to be with him. <sighs> I want you, Dennis, to say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break the curse. I break the curse. Of death. Of death. Of mammon. Of mammon. And Thor. And Thor. <laughs> Mammon's there and Jezebel's there, but Thor's doing the fighting. 
See what I'm going to do to you, Thor? <clears throat> Release that hand. Lift your hammer. <laughs> Lift it. By the sword of the spirit, I cut it! Your hammer's gone. Say, I Thor. I Thor. Bind myself. Bind myself. To Mammon. Mammon. To death. To death. And Jezebel. And Jezebel. And murder. And murder. I speak for all of them. I speak for all of them! The curse of Nadia! The curse of Nadia! Is lifted! Is lifted! On this man! On this man! Say it! You said the curse is lifted. Say on this man! On this man! And future generations! And Future generations. I have no more right. I have no more right. Right. To this man. To this man. Say it. To this man. I Thor. I Thor. With all my kingdom. <clears throat> With all my kingdom. With all my kingdom. And all my kind. <clears throat> and all my kind. And all my kind. Receive. Receive. The judgment. <clears throat> Say the judgment. The judgment. Of God. Of God. We all. Will. Go. Go. Now. Now. You all get ready to help me out. <clears throat> Part of you, yes. we're all of this evil wise. God is in the name of Jesus. Thank you. So, Mammon is this arrogant spirit that just. He's a ruling prince. He stay, kind of stays in the background and makes the others do his dirty work. So I knew that it was Thor who was doing the fighting for Mammon. So strategically, by getting Thor to pronounce the judgment, then Mammon's obligated to obey it because Thor is his spokesperson or his executioner of the curse. <laughs> Oh.
a lot has been lifted and that's all thanks to God and to Bob. Anybody who needs help, just reach out, we'll help you. I have to give all the credit, and number one to God, but, but to the Bob Larson's ministry, because it was what I learned that I was able to apply to these terrible situations I found myself in and get deliverance. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers in a whole new direction in life. That overwhelming joy and, and peace has come in from that experience alone of being delivered. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. He already saw the demon in me where it was revealed that I had Jezebel. Barb Larson's amazing ability that he's been gifted with. I think Bob Larson and most importantly, I think my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you're oppressed, we'll confront it. If you have curses, we'll break them. Whether you need healing, deliverance, or biblically sound direction in life, a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter will set you free. Oh, I got set free of a demon. I am free of this, of this demon. Bless this man of God, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He absolutely cleansed me and he took the curses away from me. God had helped me tonight to get rid of the demon. Go see Bob Larson because he can help you. You've given my life back with my wife and you've given me a chance to, to save my life and save my wife's life. Call one of our encounter coordinators now. You've waited too long to get your life back on track. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. One of Bob Larson's seminars, and I gotta say, it was amazing. The prayers and the deliverance, I feel so much better. I feel alive. Today, God just delivered me of Lucifer so that I could serve him for the rest of my life in my anointing. Thank you, God. He delivered me from so many different demons, uh, spirits that have been plaguing me for so long. You have to be set free so you can truly be set free. It's just, it's just worth it. The ministry is just worth it. <laughs>